Hello and welcome to Frog Watch. Some changes are happening with the tadpoles in the tank and it's time to feed them. We're going to feed them something different today. So let's dive in and uh, take a look. The first thing you'll notice is the tank looks a lot greener than last time. Unfortunately algae has taken hold and is growing a bit out of hand. I've not had this kind of algae growth before and I'm not sure what's caused it. Maybe the position of the tank puts it in the sunlight more than it should be, or perhaps the nutrients in the tap water that I've been using is contributing to this. But if I put my hand behind the tank, you can see the water itself is crystal clear. It's just the surface of the stones that have the algae growth on it. But that's not what I wanted to show you this week. There's more interesting things to look at. Here it is. The tadpoles are beginning to grow their back legs. This is an interesting time to have tadpoles. At this stage, not only are they undergoing massive physical changes, but their diet is also changing. They are transitioning from a herbivorous diet to a carnivorous diet, and so I need to change their food accordingly. I will still give them spinach leaves to feed the tadpoles that aren't quite as advanced as some of the others, but for the tadpoles with back legs, I'm going to feed them some boiled fish. To do this, I boil a pan of water and cut off a small piece of frozen cod. I place it in the boiling water just for a couple of minutes, just enough to soften the fish meat. I cut the boiled fish into a couple of pieces and put it into the tank. Amazingly, it only took a few seconds before the tadpoles noticed it and the feeding frenzy started. Well, they seem much more excited about the cod than they ever did with the spinach, but I mean, who can blame them? The tadpoles without legs, they'll still want to eat this fish, even though they don't necessarily need to. Other food you can feed them at this stage could be the brine shrimp or bloodworm, both of which you can easily get from a pet shop, but I found the cheapest and easiest food is this frozen fish, you can easily get that from the supermarket. Well that's all I have for you this week, it looks like I'm going to have to try and clean these stones and hopefully I can get the tank looking a bit better. So I hope to see you next time here on Frogwatch and we'll see how much more the tadpoles have developed. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.